Welcome to Daytona for the running of the Geico 250. On the port for tonight's race is Dale Petty, and to the outside is Eli Bright. In third is Riley Spurley, to fourth is Laftair Stu Cole, and rounding out your top five is Eric Hayden. So it should be a fun race in these trucks. Already this week we have seen the Clash and the Arca race, both were fantastic races. Now here we are at Daytona for our first ever Pennzoil Truck Series race. So here they are, coming off of turn four. And the pace truck will make the left hand turn pair of 15 laps at Daytona. It's going to be a fun race. <coughs> here we are, come down to the trial to the restart zone. Green flag in here, we're racing in the Pennzoil Truck Series Season 1. Here they are at the end of the back stretch. Riley Spurley to push Dale Pay out to the lead. Now he peaks low. Here they are off turn four. Three wide through the pack. And side by side to the line. Three wide. Now Eli break to the bottom lane at the line. Dale Penny leads the first lap. As they are three by three up at the front. And no room for error here. We've seen in the practices here that coming off of turn four when they're in a big pack, the inside line kind of has to stall out a little bit. As Eli Bright goes to the top, here comes Griffin Lynn, the 30. And then underneath the 13 of Junior Ramos is coming. Three wide, but Eli Bright's able to shut the door up front. As here they are, you see right here, the inside's going to kind of slow down a little bit. You see right there, they had to slow down because he had trucks on the outside or else he would slide up into him. Here comes Junior Ramos to the inside. Side by side, Eli Bright leads that lap. But behind them, three by three madness. The 92 is right there looking, Brandon Butler. Here comes the eight of Derek Bouchard. He has the 24 of Justin Mito behind him. As they race their way down the back stretch again. And draft is going to be big here at Daytona. You see Eli Bright with the biggest draft right there. He might be able to clear to the middle at least. He will. But the 8 car still to the... Or the 8 truck, excuse me. Derek Bouchard still to the inside. You see he had to check up a little bit down there. The 24 coming back. Still 3 by 3. And at the line, Derek Bouchard leading. But Jeff Samito is down low. Here comes the 10, Christian Merrick Jr. And trucks at the back. Oh my goodness, the, what are they thinking? They have no place to go. They have no place to go if a wreck happens. Oh my goodness. As Merrick looks to the inside, three wide. He has a big push from the 81 of Brandon Butler Sr. The 07 behind Trey Rainey's coming up to the front. And then you also have Josh Crash there in the four. Looks like the checkups aren't as prevalent so far tonight, but maybe on Warren Terry's, it will get more prevalent. So Christian Merrick Jr. has gotten clear. Now Trey Rainey's trying to fight his way up to the front in the 07. Behind them, big battles trying to get down to the bottom lane. Oh, there they go! Eli Bright spun! Can he save and get back up onto the track without getting hit? He's still down low. Oh, this bad. He's going to come right back up. Watch the 32 also. Eli up into the pack! The big one here at Daytona. The 62 involved. Others slide down to the inside. And the caution comes out. For a big wreck up at 3 and 4, Christian Bear Jr. leads them back. The 51 of Levi Schoen's right behind, and the 88 of Luke Rainey is there. 
Well, big one here at Daytona. Let's see what happened. We saw this starting to happen with them all getting ch choked up trying to get down to the bottom. See, Eli just gets clipped right there by the 92 of Brandon Butler. Gets tipped down to the inside. And Eli drives it down the back stretch all the way down low. This is just like the Arca race yesterday. And how we saw the, the trucks when... Look at this. He's down on the in the grass. He's coming right back up. And this is scary how big of an impact he takes into the 19. 19 just gets clipped. John West. And then the whole field. There's the three of Jeff Bright. So the Brights not they wanted. Junior Ramos involved. The 98 with the ton of damage, Jim Gambit. 62 of Paul Minnick. 02, Josh Shimito. 17 is sitting over there. Evan Rudd's 54 is there. Jacob Morgan. 18 of Riley Spurley Tube is involved. And that's a big one here at Daytona. Let's go on board the 17 of Evan Rudd. See what he saw as nowhere he could go. As the 31 just shot up the track. You saw Alex Stewart in the 32 also down low. Looks like the 3 of Jeff Bright was involved. And one more with the 19 of John West. You see, he's just going to get clipped right here. Tough break there for these drivers involved. So Christian Merrick Jr. leads them back. Looks like they will stay out. It'll be the 10 truck to lead us back to the green flag. So this will be our final sprint to the checkered flag. We will restart in lap number 10. You see the trucks that are out are Evan Rudd, Dale Petty, the 31 of Eli Bright, Josh Amito, uh, Jacob Morgan, the 98 of Jim Gambit, the 18 of Riley Spurley Tube, and the 60 of Laftair Stucol. The 13 is a lap down. That is Junior Ramos, along with the 62 of Paul Minnick, which leaves 22 trucks left on the lead lap. And out front, Christian Merrick Jr. trying to hold on win. In second is Levi Shones. Third is Luke Rainey. In fourth is Josh Crash. Fifth is Trey Rainey. In sixth is Kevin Bannon. Seventh, you see Brandon Butler Sr. Eighth is Eric Hyden. Ninth is Derek Bouchard. And running out your top ten is Cynthia Bright. So this is going to be a fun dash to the finish. Because I haven't mentioned it yet, but the Pentel Truck Series, when you're into the chase, 10 chase drivers, and you have 17 races to make it in, we could potentially have 17 different winners in that. So a win here will be big to start the season on the right foot. You win and you're in at Daytona as long as you stay top 30 in points. And that's a big if, if you stay in the top 30 in points. So here we go. Christian Merrick Jr. trying to hold on and win here at Daytona. Who will be the first ever Pennzoil Truck Series winner? Get to get their name on that Daytona Trophy here tonight. So here we go. Pace Truck leading the field down the front stretch. And the restart will be in the hands of Christian Merrick Jr. Up front. Pace Truck in. What's going to happen here in this restart? Green flag back in the air. And it looks like... That was a pretty even start among everyone up here at the front. A truck is in the grass. It's the 94 blowing up. That is Hunter Bob. Keeping it green so far. Here comes Luke Rainey to the inside. It's Trey Rainey behind. So the Rainies are helping each other right here at the front. Levi Shunt in the top going backwards. Luke Rainey stays low. Trey Rainey puts him to the middle. 
Now Trey's going all the way to the bottom. Three wide for the race lead as they hit the end of the back stretch. This could be your this could be your season right here. If you win this race, you could potentially be in the chase, and you have a great chance to be in the chase. A win means everything right here. As they come to the line, five laps to go, and Trey Rainey's out front. He has Kevin Bannon pushing him through. They have kept it green. Hunter Bob has made it to the pits. Derek Bouchard trying to come back. Who's that? fourth on the inside the 75 of Cynthia Bright here comes a move by Derek Bouchard four to go this time he doesn't have enough of a run Bandit and Trey Rainey are gonna clear at the front four to go this time big pack behind the front few who wins here comes Kevin Bandit to the bottom Four laps of racing to go at Daytona. Derek Bouchard's help at Bandon. Rainey has no help on the top. The 81 goes up to help him. Brandon Butler Sr. But that's not going to work. The front four have cleared them behind them. They're trying to get up. Here they come. Who's that? That's the eight of Derek Bouchard to the bottom. Look at Dan Bandon in the 68 coming. All the way to the bottom. Dan Bandon is going to be going for second here shortly. He has a big push from Christian Merrick Jr. John Gamage coming in the 99. Luke Rainey's coming back up to the front. Three to go at Daytona. And they are three wide. Look at Dan Bandon forcing a lane earning Derek Bouchard. Kevin Bandon gets clear at the front. So Cynthia Bray's looking to the inside. Here comes Cynthia. Three laps at Daytona. Dan Bannon with a big push from everyone on the inside. It's going to be going for second earning. Kevin Bannon. Christian Merrick goes to the inside. Three wide. This is intense at Daytona. Some of the best racing I've ever seen. And Christian Merrick Jr. A big push to get underneath Cynthia Bright. John Gambit's coming. Two laps to go this time. Oh, Trey Rainey's around with Luke Rainey. That's going to bring out the yellow. And that will be it at Daytona as Christian Merrick gets to the line. Christian Merrick Jr., if he can coast it around two laps, will win at Daytona. Trey Rainey went around. Jake West also. There's the 24, Jeff Semito. The 30 possibly went around of Griffin Lynn. Let's see what happened to bring out the final caution of the night. You see, Trey Rainey trying to get down to the bottom. He knows that's his only shot. And in doing that, the 92 had a big run. So he had to go back up. And when he did that, he clipped Derek Bouchard. And then the 92, Brandon Butler got into him. Spun him up into Luke Rainey. Luke kept it going. And then the 29, ooh, the 32 of Alex Stewart. 29 of Jake West. 24 also of Jeff Samito. And that's how this race is going to end. You see the trucks splitting. It really helped Christian Merrick Jr. stay out front. You see the, the mess behind him as he comes to the stripe. It's pre pretty much how many Daytona races have ended. And here they come off a of four. And he will see the white flag this time. And it looks like it's going to be Christian Merrick Jr. to bring home the victory. Second will be John Gambit. And third, Eric Hyden. Fourth will be Cynthia Bright and fifth Levi Shones. In sixth Dan Bannon, seventh Kevin Bannon, eighth Tyler Lyman, ninth Derek Bouchard, and tenth Josh Crash. In eleventh Brandon Butler Sr., twelfth is Luke Rainey, thirteenth is Brandon Butler, fourteenth is Alex Stewart, he has a ton of damage, and fifteenth Junior Ramos. In sixteenth Paul Minnick, seventeenth will be Stuart Gratton, eighteenth Jeff or excuse me, 16th is Jeff Bright. 17th. Oh, these guys are laps down. Excuse me, the 13 and the 62 are laps down. 15th is Stuart Gratton. In 16th is Jeff Bright. 17th is Griffin Lynn. 18th is Jeff Samito. 19th is Jake West. And in 20th, 
Trey Rainey in 21st, rounding out your field will be John West. And then you got some lap cars, 22nd, Junior Ramos in 23rd, Paul Minnick. So it was a wild race at Daytona. Anyone could win, but it turns out Christian Merrick Jr. had the right strategy, stayed up front most of the race, I think led the most laps. And not only will he win the race, he will have the potential to run for the championship as he has he will win at Daytona as long as he can coast it around three and four and down the front stretch. So definitely not how we wanted this race to end under yellow. Wanted to see go see it go a uh, final two laps under green. That didn't happen. And Christian Merrick Jr., the beneficiary of the madness happening behind him. Yes, here they come off of four. And Christian Merrick Jr. can see it now. As he comes down the front stretch. Winning he's in to compete for a championship. Christian Merrick Jr. wins the first ever Pennzoil Truck Series race here at Daytona. The Gecko 250 belongs to Christian Merrick Jr. And there's the field as they come across the line. Everyone makes it. Let's check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Geico 250 at Daytona. Two caution flags for six laps. Six lead changes among six different drivers. The person that led the most laps, Christian Merrick Jr., led nine laps and ended up winning the race. Again, John Gamma ended up second. Eric Hine third. And fourth, Cynthia Bright. Fifth, Levi Shones. Sixth, Dan Bandon. Seventh, Kevin Bandon. 8th, Tyler Lyman, ninth Derek Bouchard, and 10th, Josh Crash. So there's your top 20. You see people that also led laps. Kevin Bannon led a lap. Derek Bouchard led a lap. Down there, Trey Rainey led two laps. He was involved in the last caution. Spun out. Got a top 20 out of it, though. And all, all that matters is that you win. You see down here, your pole sitter ended up being involved in the big one, Dale Petty. And then outside of the front row, Eli Bright was also involved. They both led a lap. Now let's go to the point standings. Here are the point standings. It's basically the same as as uh, the fishing order, except people who led laps might be up a little bit farther. As you see, Trey Rainey's not 20th. He's actually 19th in the points. That's just among notables that led laps. So with this win, Christian Merrick Jr. right now is in the chase. We will have 10 uh, chase drivers 17 events to get in we could potentially have 17 different winners, but I, I'm safe to say I think Christian Merrick jr. Will be running for a championship in the final seven races as you can see these guys down here. They're gonna just need wins now So the next race the second race will be the Verizon 200 at Chicago see you guys then